Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and Paul Maurice decides to resign as the Winnipeg Jets head coach. A pleasant special thanks to those of you that have sub. Please continue to subscribe down below the Easy Use button or at the end of the Easy Use widget up above. But as I just said, Paul Maurice resigned as the Winnipeg Jets head coach. Uh, we never will truly know if it was because he was about to get fired or if it was because, like his quote said, he was doing the more nobile thing and just admitting this team needs a new voice. They're only three games over 500 um, at 13, 10, and 5, uh, and have been a very roller coastery team. When we know this team is a better roster, you have Comrie performing like a hell of a backup, and you have one of the best goaltenders in Connor Hellbuck. So obviously, this team should be doing better than they have been doing. They should be potting more. Uh, goals, finding more twine, and being better efficient on defenses. Um, well, they actually haven't been bad on defense. So I shouldn't say that. They should just be a better overall team. Uh, where it, it just sometimes avoids. Paul Maurice is obviously a good head coach. He's had a lot of success in this league and has a lot of wins in this league. It's just like I said about AV when he got fired. Um, certain people meet the end of their track. Uh, Vancouver fans even said about Travis Green. He doesn't have the winningness record, obviously, but like they really liked him there. It's just everybody meets their track. Paul Maurice met his track, and he even admitted that. His quote is, this is a good team. I'm a good coach, but sometimes you can only push so far. Sometimes a team needs a new voice. They haven't quit on me, but need a different voice. It's the right time for it, and I know that. Maybe the quit on me part, that would be the debatable part, but um, I don't think the Jets really did it because they were more roller coastery. where the Flyers were more of a team that looked like they quit on AV, and kind of if you use the Flyers' current head coach, which they're looking good with now, but Yo kind of at the end of his tenure with the Blues, uh, he kind of looked like that a little bit, where they were more roller coastery. but it's nice for a coach to come out, and if he did resign off of that um, weight where it was more, I just know this team needs somebody else, it, it, it definitely is a very nice thing to see. Now, as of yet, I haven't seen anything. Um, I'll see if Elliot Friedman's tweeted anything else about um, if somebody's going to be an interim or what have you. Uh, but as of what, right now, it looks like... Uh, here we go. Dave Lowry. The Jets said Dave Lowry has agreed um, to assume the head coaching duties on an interim basis. Uh, and then uh, Paul Maurice is talking to the media, obviously. And then Chevla Dayoff uh, will speak to the media immediately afterwards. Lowry will be to the media prior to the game uh, between the Capitals. Uh, so there you go. Dave Lowry is going to get a chance to be an interim. Can he make his mark, make his punch? and be able to be a very good interim that is able to stay, where it looks like if, obviously, Yo is able to have some success rate with the Flyers, maybe he will be an interim that's able to stay like other guys have latched on, like Greg Berube, who did the ultimate goal and won the Cup as an interim, and then, of course, latched on. So we'll have to see, will this be able to be the case for him, for Lowry? We'll have to see if that's the case as well. But all we know is Paul Maurice steps down, and he knows and he admitted this is a better roster than how they're performing. And they have guys that are underperforming. So you want to see guys like, speaking of Lowry, Adam Lowry uh, do better. Dominic Toninato, who I know from watching him in the minors, has more skill in his tape than he's shown. Uh, you want to see guys like Visalainen start to get going. He hasn't got going under Paul Maurice. Uh, you want to see guys like Sveshnikov put a little bit more stuff in his tape like I've seen him be able to do with the Moose as well from watching on AHL TV and covering the AHL. So uh, I think this team is a good team, and I think this team has a lot of chance to recover because unlike Vancouver, who does still have a very good chance to recover at 14 and 15, and especially unlike the Flyers, they haven't dug as deep of a hole, but I think the Flyers still have a chance to recover, but this team has a great chance to recover because they're 13, 10, and 5 and are still three games over 500 while being underperforming and underwhelming because of what we just know this Canucks, or not this Canucks team, this Winnipeg Jets team can do. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this short video on Paul Maurice resigning as the Winnipeg Jets head coach. Lowry coming in on an interim basis. We'll see if their plans are more like the Flyers, where it seems that they're going to bring in assistance and worry about the head coach later. Or if they're going to go out and grab somebody like an Elaine Vigneault, a John Tortorella, even a Travis Green who got relieved by the Canucks, or a Rick Tockett or somebody else that's out there, or Claude Julian, anybody that you want to name or throw out there, Chris Noblah, um, who is definitely a name that out there from an AHL coach that could go up to an NHL coach sooner rather than later. So uh, we'll have to see what they decide to do. But for now, Lowry's the head coach and Paul Maurice is out. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the NHL season.